Hi guys, it's Misty with Mystic Gigi. We're going to be doing a Dutch pour today with a purple base. It's from the Prism Pour, um, the Prism Pour color, um, Pretty Petunia. Oh, it's so pretty. And then it's mixed with a uh, Jos, no, not Josonia. It's mixed with a um, Pebio Studio Acrylics Purple. It is the dark cobalt violet hue. So those are my base colors. I'll show, show them right there. And check out that shimmer in it. Look at that. Oh, it's going to dry beautifully. Okay, so um, this is actually a talking video. So I will be talking in just a minute, but the first half I kind of accidentally recorded too fast and it didn't let me record my voice. So I'm laying down my colors. Um, or My colors are all laid, put down in the sequence that you've seen them. And then um, if you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out and it means the world to me. And if you're a return subscriber, thanks so much for your return and your love and support. It means the world to me. And um, I will let you guys watch. Also, don't forget to get your 20% off color art, which is the prism pour that I'm using as my base. And then all the color art pigments that I'm using in it too. You can get 20% off by code MistyNelson2021. I'll leave it all in the description below. Don't forget to check out the description below. I have my Facebook links, my TikTok links, my Instagram, my everything else. If you want to contribute and buy me a coffee, I got a link down there. Um, I, um, any, if you're interested in purchasing any of my paintings, leave me a message, email me, or message me below. I'm more than happy to help you. So I will let you guys get to watching and I'll be speaking through the video now. Thanks guys. Okay, sorry about that guys. Um, you've been on fast speed, so I'm trying to do a talking video and every time it messes me up. <laughs> so. Now I'm now you can hear me. Um, the stuff I've been saying. <laughs> since, I'm glad I checked it before it was all the way over. But anyways, my um, okay. So my ratios are two parts Floetrol, one part paint, half part water. For my pigments, they're just pigments. I put about two heaping little spoons. The little spoons that come with the pigments two heaping spoons of this to one spoon of the pigment and then about a half ounce of Floetrol and then water to thin. If you are really want to know detailed info, go to Erica Hughes and she has, <clears throat> she has a video on it on how she mixes pigments. That's the best thing I can tell you. Other than that, I just literally, I know Leslie hates it, but the owner of color art, but she, I use it in my primary elements too. And I love the outcome, <laughs> but it says don't add flow trial and stuff, but don't put yourself in a box like Erica Hughes would say, think outside the box. So these primary elements, they're amazing. The sparkle is phenomenal. You gotta get yourself some. So obviously, um, the last colors that I showed you of the two purples, that's my base color. And the rest are the colors that I'm laying down the way I showed you in the beginning. That's exactly the way that the colors um, are laid down. So the same sequence that you've seen them. And I'm just laying all my colors down. Also, go get yourself some color pigments that are amazing. And I have a 20% off code, which is Misty Nelson 2021, all lowercase. And I'll leave that in the description. And I'll put it up on the screen. But they're amazing. And you think they're expensive, but they're really not when it comes down to how long they last, for one. And for when you put that discount code in, it makes a, a huge difference. So don't buy them without your discount code. Oh, this one is so like candy. This is a primary element. I'll show it to you in just a 
second cross. I don't know if you can see this very well, but the shimmer, hopefully you can even see that period because I suck at knowing where my camera is. <laughs> okay. Um, also, I have links below for like my blow dryer that I use. I have links for Amazon products. I have discount codes for KS Resin and Counterculture DIY. I have all kinds of stuff, so go check out my description box below. And um, grab yourself some discount codes. Don't pay full price. Also... Um, I got my social media links down there too, so go check them out. I would love to have you join me on my page and show me your beautiful art. Man, these things are killing me. I think it's from the flow troll. <laughs> I had to sit there and pick them out for like ever. I had to pause you guys, but you would have heard me if I <laughs> had my phone set on the right settings. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's torch the bubbles out. Wow, my torch is on high setting. <laughs> okay. So let's see. So like I normally do, I don't push the color over the colors, the base over the colors. I just push it in. But I think my line's pretty thin, and I only do that because I want my line thinner so I can be in more control of it. All right, let's see. I might push it in a little bit right here though. And I have it on low and cool. I have a dime that pushes on my cool button and I just taped it there so it stays on cool. So I don't have to focus on holding it down while I'm trying to blow up my design. And when you, when, you, when you push the paint in like I am doing, it also gives you a good feel for where you need more paint, or if you have too much paint, or if you have just en enough. So it's a really good like tester before you start blowing out.
colors. The colors are beautiful. The cells are really popping. Now I'm just going to play with my composition a little bit. I think I'm going to blow that this way so it doesn't look like I blow it that way. <laughs> a little bit. I always beat myself up for the way I start these. <laughs> Like that. It was totally random and the first petal sucks. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in here and play with this for a minute. I have to overwork it. <laughs> Cannot wait to see how this background dries because of that shimmer from Color On. little wispies that you don't like just use your finger as an eraser oh sorry for that i had a lot of paint on here so <laughs> it's not always going to work as an eraser I think I should do it with this. <clears throat> Try not to overwork it because you'll regret it. Perfect. <laughs> I'm 
just a little bit. those wispies that it makes. I like how it's just minimal, it's not hugely blown out like I normally do. That's what I was going for, was just minimal. <laughs> Sweet baby beast. Okay. Ooh, I love the colors. And the shimmer from the primary elements is to die for. And it's almost like just like perfect blend of purples and that tint of pink that just throws it all together. Okay. And don't be afraid to play with it. If you don't like parts, scrape it. Scrape it or fix it. <laughs> So, don't forget to check out the description box. Alright guys, here is the close-up. Oh, I love how it turned out. But check out that sparkle in the base color. Is that not gorgeous? Oh my gosh. That is going to dry so phenomenal. Now check out those colors. That right there that you're seeing, the white right there that's chantilly lace that is the prism pour it's like pigment in a jar it's amazing stuff and you can get 20 percent off your order at colorart.com goodness gracious i love these colors i actually love how this turned out i don't usually love 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 things <laughs> but this one I'm really falling for I think it's just like the colors that just never seen such a good color combo in my work anyways and everybody else's I have <laughs> oh, look at that pink Well guys, I hope you had as fun as I did in this video, and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed, and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for you guys' love and support. It means the world to me, and it makes my day when I get to see those happy comments. So, thank you, I appreciate it. Oh, look at that. Good shimmer. 
You gotta get yourself some Chantilly Lace at least. Okay guys, don't forget promo codes in the description box and links and my social media. And if you're in, ever interested in any of my paintings, please email me. Um, they're available if they're available, they are for sale. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, thank you so much. Have a wonderful one. Thank you.